Alice German is back to try to make it again to the bonus sprint and a chance at a jackpot of $8,000 today on Scrabble. A 10-letter word. The clue is they keep businessmen moving up in the world. It's the crossword game you've played all your life, but never quite like this. And here's your host, Chuck Woolery. Oh, thanks, everybody. Thank you, Charlie Tuna, and welcome to Scrabble. It's the television version of everyone's favorite game. Home viewer word was sent in by Mrs. Uh, Rhonda, is that what it is? Rhonda Murphy from Millinocket, Maine. And we have a T-shirt for her. Uh, today, the jackpot in our bonus sprint stands at $8,000. That was Millinocket, Maine, wasn't it? Yes. Oh, so I did get that. I don't like to mess up names of towns. People get upset. <laughs> but it was Millinocket, Maine. Yes. Today's winner is going to get a chance at the jackpot, as I was saying earlier. And Charlie has our first two players. Charlie? She's our champion. He's a former diplomat. Originally from Kailua, Hawaii, Alice Gurman. And from Los Angeles, Mitch Feigenberg. All right, nice to have you both back. You were so close yesterday, Alice. Oh, I know. Don't you were me. very close to a lot of money. Yeah. Well, you I won know. 2,500, though. Oh, that was pretty good. Yeah. Tell us more about yourself. Well, like I said yesterday, I like to ride bikes and run road races, and um, I work in a major grocery store, and I'm a night stalker. You're a night stalker. A night stalker. <laughs> <laughs> I've been a night stalker in my day, too. But I really yeah, nice to have you here, Alex. Thanks. Good luck to you. Hi, Mitch. Hi, Chuck. Tell me about yourself. I'm married, have a 10-month-old child named Alicia. Good. And yesterday was the first day she finally decided da means me. Oh, da, da. Now, now, isn't that exciting? Yeah, very exciting. It is. Can they bring you right out of your socks? It's, um, uh, I never knew how proud I would be. Oh, that's great. Well, yeah. it's nice to have you here, Mitch. Thank Good you. luck to you. You're the challenger. You're going to get to go first. Good. So we'll play Scrabble until somebody gets three words right, and that player goes on to our Scrabble sprint. They have a chance at the bonus sprint to the possible uh, $8,000. Take a look at the board as we set up for the first game. We're building on the letter R. There are eight letters in the word, and the clue is Napoleon is famous for having a hand in it. Uh, when you think you know the word, Napoleon. hit your buzzer. Don't forget the pink and blue bonus squares. They're worth money. Napoleon is famous for having a hand in it. Napoleon is famous for having a hand in it. Okay. The one and the eight. O and an F. The O. Hmm, I'm not sure about that. Okay, the F. Yeah, so that's a stopper, Alice. Napoleon is famous for having a hand in it. Okay, I'll take the seven and the six. E or an L? I'll take the L, please. And the E? Napoleon is famous for having a hand in it. I'll have to take two more tiles. The five. And the four. O or a W? How about the O, please? And the W, please, for some money. For $500, Napoleon is famous for having a hand in it. Waterloo. That's right. Who was the other guy that had a hand in it? I have no idea. Lord Nelson, wasn't it? I'm so glad you made me look so stupid on TV. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was going to give you an extra hundred dollars if you knew it. One, two, three, four, five hundred. Just one of those things you conjure up out of your past, you know. Okay, here we go, Mitch. Building on the letter L in Waterloo, seven letters in the word, and the clue is they're at loose ends. They're at loose ends. They're at loose ends. Okay, the one and the five. R or an F? The R. And the F. That was the letter that got you the last time, I believe. Oh. Alice, they're at okay. loose ends. I'll take a six and a three, please. L and a G. How about an L, please? Nope. <laughs> Only one stopper left, Mitch. Can make some money. Get the word right. Okay. The two. They're at loose ends with a E or a G. The G, please. They're at loose ends. Oh, the E. It's worth $500, Mitch. They're at loose ends. Uh, hmm. It's very interesting. The seven. Yes, and the it eight. is. 
D or an S? A DS. And the D. They're at loose ends for $500. Okay, for $500. Girdles. Girdles, that's right. Loose in, is that what I think it is? Yes. It's wild. I, I, I wouldn't make you look stupid. I didn't mean to. I apologize if I've made you feel that way. Really. I like you, Alice. Oh, thank you. However, I'm working on another one. One, two, three, four, five hundred. Thanks. All right, it's all tied up. Everybody's got money. Here we go. Building on the letter I in girdles, nine letters in the word. And the clue is their assets are liquid. Alice, their assets are liquid. Okay, I'll take the eight and the four. L and a D. I'll take the L, please. No, stop her, Mitch. Hmm. The one. H or a D? The D, please. Their assets are liquid. And the H. Stop her, Alice. Only one stopper left. Stay away from it. Get it right. You can make some money. I'll take the six. And the 10, please. T or a W? The T, please. That's all three of them. Play speed word, Mitch, if you don't know it. You know it? The clues. Their assets are liquid? No. Okay, hands on your buzzers. Don't answer till I say go. We'll put the letters in place one at a time. Can't give it the last letter. It's up to you. Their assets are liquid. Ready? Go. Their assets are liquid. Alice. Budweiser. That's right. Two to one. Okay, Mitch, back to the board. We're building on the letter E in Budweiser. Five letters in the word, and the clue is they sometimes lie around with their tongues hanging out. They Give sometimes... you $1,000. Tell me what this is. They sometimes lie around with their tongues hanging out. Thousand bucks. Want to try it? I'm not sure. No. Okay. One and five. E or an S? The E. Stop her, Alice. There's no money left. Can For I go the game, yet? they sometimes lie around with their tongues hanging out. Shoes? That's right. Yes. Yeah. She's tough. She's tough. She's real tough. She really is. Great. Yeah. Talks about me making her look stupid on television. Sure. Yeah. All right. Mitch, five hundred dollars. Thanks for coming. Thanks very much. It's a pleasure. My pleasure. And Alice. <laughs> you don't have anything to worry about. 3,500. Oh. She's got a chance at another thousand and a possible chance at 8,000. So 9,000 could be in your future. Let's see if it is. We'll be back right after this. Thank you. Congratulations. And now back to Scramble and Chuck Lurie. Alice Gurman has uh, $3,500. She's going to establish a time. The winner of the next crossword will try to beat that time. Remind you to hit your plunger. That's what stops the clock. And no stoppers in any of these words. All the letters are good. Okay. okay. First word, five letters. A pocket full of rye. A pocket full of rye. Ready? Ready. Go. F. L. F. A pocket full of rye. That's right. Yeah! Oh, second word, seven letters. They're made with iron. They're made with iron. Ready? Ready. Go. W. Tell me, quickly. <laughs> then you locked it out. Oh, no. Yeah. Well, it's 10-second penalty. That's okay. It's not the end of the world, as you well know. <laughs> no, it's not. Okay. <laughs> Let's go. Let's continue with this word. They're made with iron. Okay. Ready? Go. W. They're made with iron. Yeah. That's right. The third word has eight letters. An animal doctor. An animal doctor. Ready? Ready. Go. T. O. T. An animal doctor. Do this. That's right. The last word has nine letters. It's a sign of things to come. It's a sign of things to come. Ready? Ready. Go. H. P. That's a sign of things to come. R. S. O. It's a sign of things to come. O. O. 
Horoscope. Yeah, 38.5. That's pretty good. Well, within 28.5 without that 10-second penalty, actually, it wasn't bad at all. You just made a mistake. Mm. Let's see. And hopefully, you won't have to pay for it. You never know. <laughs> 38.5 is the time to beat. We'll be back to see if that can be done right after this. Oh, it was an old album cover. Somebody in the oh, audience has an old album cover, which yours. we will not show. So we won't <laughs> talk about it anymore. Uh, we have two new contestants, and Charlie's got them. Charlie? She's a graphic designer. He's a student. Originally from Boca Raton, Florida, Andrea O'Rourke. And originally from the Philippines, Dio Estrada. All right, nice to have you both here. How are you, Andrea? I'm fine. Good. Tell me about yourself. Well, I am a graphic artist. My work involves public relations and communications. I'm married, and I have a 19-year-old daughter who wanted me to be sure to tell you she thinks you're really hot. Oh, how sweet. <laughs> Make an old man very happy. <laughs> Thank you. How sweet, Andrea. Thank you. Hi, Dio. Hi, Chuck. Tell me about yourself. Well, I'm a student majoring in computer programming, and during my spare time, I play tennis, and I did a bit, a bit of traveling and modeling also. Good. All right. Uh, who won the toss backstage? I did. Let's go to the board. We're building on the letter U, eight letters in the word, and the clue is some guys have dropped them right in front of the judge and jury. Okay. I will take the 10 and the 6. L and a Y. How about the Y? Stop, Rodeo. Some guys have dropped them right in front of the judge and jury. I'll take the 1. L and a W. The W, please? The L. It's worth $500. Some guys have dropped them right in front of the judge and jury. Lawsuits. That's exactly right. It is lawsuits. Yeah. Very nicely done. Thank you. All right. One, two, three, four, five hundred dollars. Good for you. All right. Building on the letter U in lawsuits, Andrea. Seven letters in the word. The clue is. Some couples do it when the lights go out. Some couples do it when the lights go out. I'll take the two. Yes. And the eight. T or an L? Let me try the L. And the T. Some couples do it when the lights go out. Well, I'll take two more tiles. I'll take the seven and the four. Another T and an R. How about the R? It's a stopper deal. Um, I'll take the three. T or an S? The S, please. I believe that T is a stopper, so I'll guess. Stumble? That's right, it is stumble. <laughs> Andrea? I guess I start again. Boy, I guess you do. Okay. Building on the letter L in stumble, nine letters in the word. The clue is peace officers sometimes nip them in the bud. Peace officers sometimes nip them in the bud. I'll start with the six and the eight. I and an O. How about the O? Well, you landed oh. right on it. It's Wanna so Want to take a chance? Soon. Peace officers sometimes nip them in the bud. <clears throat> take a chance? I, I don't know what it is. I'll try the I. Two more tiles, the three. And the 11. F or a D? How about the F? I'm going to try daffodil. That's right. <laughs> How in the world did you come I up with that? I don't know. <laughs> hey, yeah, that was really tough. All right, going to stay with you, Andrea. You're behind. Okay. Building on the letter A in daffodils, six letters in the word, and the clue is. She wears pearl necklaces. She wears pearl necklaces. I will try the eight and the two. E and an M. How about the E, please? $1,000 again. She wears pearl necklaces. I don't know it. I'll try the M. Stop her over the video. Um, I'll take the one and the seven. Have a J and a Z. Uh, place the G, please. The what? The J. The J. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> All 
That's a stopper. Andrea, she wears pearl necklaces as oh, a clue. Okay, I'll take the four. Y or a she Z? Wants, how about the Y? And the Z? Nope. You know what it is, Dio? Um, no, I don't. Okay, hands on your buzzers. Don't answer till I say go. We'll put the letters in place one at a time. Can't give you the last letter. She wears pearl necklaces. Ready? Go. Dio. Bailey. That's right, Pearl Bailey. Is that money? Was that money? Did we get money? Got 500 again? Oh, I'll be back. <laughs> oh, Andrew, you got nothing. I try. I know, you do. Well, he's a good player. He really is a good player. When you got daffodils, though, I thought you were in the running there for a minute. Binoculars? Is that what she's getting? Binoculars? All right, well, let's hear about it. Andrea, for you, Bushnell's Wide View Spectator Binoculars, Insta Focus System, and Poro Prism, a perfect choice for sporting events. Get every dramatic, action packed moment. Furnished by Bushnell. <laughs> Andrea, I know. Oh, they're nice, though. Andrea said, oh, just what I need. The binoculars, yeah. Well, if you're going to get binoculars, Bushnell is the one to get. Okay. If you don't need them, give I'll them away. If you want to use them. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks. Deal with the 500. One, one two, two, three, three four, four, 500. Got 1,500. We'll be back to play Scrabble Sprint right after this. Stay with Thank us. You. to Scrabble and Chuck Woolery. Alice German, $3,500. She has 38.5. That's the time. Dio Estrada has 1,500. Are you related to Eric by any chance? He's my brother. He's my younger brother. Eric? But not, no, not Eric Estrada. in the chips, no. <laughs> but you do have a younger brother, Eric. Yes, his name is Eric. Mm -hmm. Does he have a Rolls Royce convertible? No, he has a Porsche. <laughs> not really. <laughs> He's so blasé. <laughs> well, you have 2,500, uh, Dio, and uh, this is for 1,000. Same four words. Reminds you to hit your plunger. That's what stops the clock. No stoppers in any of these words. All the letters are good. Ready? Ready. First word, five letters. A pocket full of rye. A pocket full of rye. Ready? Ready. Go. F. K. L. Pocket full of rye. S. Flask. That's right. <laughs> the second word has seven letters. They're made with iron. They're made with iron. Ready? Ready. Go. W. E. F. They're made with iron. Waffle? That's correct. Singular or plural, I'll take you to one. Third word, eight letters, an animal doctor. An animal doctor. Ready? Ready. Go. T. T. O. An animal doctor. L. D. E. Doolittle. That's right. 9.9 .9 seconds left. Last word, nine letters. It's a sign of things to come. It's a sign of things to come. Ready? Ready. Go. H. C. S. It's a sign of things to come. R. P. Horoscope. With one tenth, one tenth of a second left. You almost, you almost got it again. That was, she had a 10 second penalty. She missed waffles. Can you, well, don't beat yourself up because, well, don't. I mean, that was, a, I know, that was a good time that you had, obviously. I mean, you'd have been 10 seconds ahead there, but that's, you had a mistake, and that's what happens. Only beat you by one-tenth of a second. I mean, that was fast. Okay. Al is going to leave us with 3,500. Dio is going to come back and try for 8,000. With 2,500, we'll be back. That was wild. And now, back to Chuck Woolery and today's winner. Dio Estrada just clipped. I mean, really, one tenth. You could have taken a breath and it would have been gone. 2,500, gonna try for 8,000. Two words under 10 seconds, gotta be fast. Be very okay. fast on these. It's for $8,000. Here we go. First word, 
six letters, a letter handler. A letter handler. Ready? Ready. Go. P. Y. T. A letter handler. S. Typist. That's right. Now you're going to have to get this one off the clue. Seven letters. Their home on the range. Their home on the range. Their home on the range. Ready? Ready. Go. R. You really had a chance of that range. Could have been a stove. It could have been the range in the west, but it happened to be with arrows this time. It's an oh, archery arrows. range. So. For archers. Well, that was a little tough. A little tough. Needed more time on that. So we have 8,000 turning into 9,000. And we'll be back tomorrow or next time to try that. Yes. Stick around for action with MacGyver. Then it's back to back episodes of Knight Rider. Today, starting at 4 on USA. Scramble, starring Chuck Woolery, is produced in association with Exposure Unlimited. This program is based on the Scramble brand crossword game. This is Charlie Tuna speaking. Scramble is a Reg Grundy production.